in task 2 we are going to configure local and global peering between the virtual networks we deployed in the previous task so we have deployed three virtual machines two in one region east us and the third one in west us similarly we have deployed three virtual networks two in the east us region and the third one in the west us so now open the virtual network and click on vnet0 I'm just closing the cloud shell pan under settings section click on peering click add peering so give the peering link name az104 dash 05 vnet 0 to az105 dash 05 dash vnet 1 so i'm going to pair vnet 0 and vnet 1 both are in the same region traffic to remote virtual network allow default and traffic forwarded from remote virtual network I'm going to block traffic that originate from outside this virtual network so if there is any traffic originate from a different virtual network then it will be blocked next to virtual network gateway leave default remote virtual network is the 104-05 vnet1 is the one zero four zero five vnet zero virtual network deployment model resource manager leave it unselected I know my resource ID and the subscription so select the virtual network vnet one allow default block traffic that originate outside the virtual network and the virtual network gateway leave it default and click on add so this step establishes two local peering one from vnet0 to vnet1 and other from vnet1 to vnet0 okay so we have created the pairing from vnet0 to vnet1 and next we are going to create the pairing from vnet0 to vnet2 so let's give the Peering link name is the one zero four zero five unit zero two unit two and traffic to remote virtual network allow default and traffic forwarded from remote virtual network is originate from outside of this virtual network just block it and none next peering link name is the 104-05 vnet2 
we need zero virtual network deployment model resource manager leave this unselected and select the virtual network so here we are going to select bnet2 low default and block traffic and leave none click on add so this step establishes two global pairing one from vnet0 to vnet2 and vice versa okay so virtual network pairing has been created from vnet0 to vnet2 Next, go back to the virtual network blade and click on VNet1. Enter settings, click on pairing. So now we are going to pair VNet1 to VNet2. Click add, enter the pairing link name. AZ104 dash S05 dash VNet1 to Z104 VNet2. Similar settings like we did previously. Peering link name. So Vnet1 resource manager leave this unchecked and select the Vnet as Vnet2 allow default block traffic and click add so this step establishes two global pairing one from Vnet1 to Vnet2 and other from Vnet2 to Vnet1 Okay, so the VNet pairing has been completed. So we have created the pairing from VNet0 to VNet1 and vice versa, VNet0 to VNet2. And next we have created the pairing from VNet1 to 0 and vnet 1 to 2 so in the next task task 3 we will test the intersite connectivity